Hey guys, how are you doing? I really trust that you're well. Mrs. Mugume here. Well, I was thinking to myself, the months I was pregnant, I looked for my friends that have kids. You know, I understood what they meant by circles change when you have children, when you're pregnant, because I wanted to know how is it going to be like? How is childbirth going to be like? How is labor going to be like? How is parenting going to be like? I wanted to hear from different friends. And all views never seemed to be enough for me. They never seemed to satisfy me, you know. I never felt like I was ever going to be ready for labor, for childbirth, for, you know, parenting. It was crazy, you know. And uh, that's why I've decided to come up with something that I've, de I've decided to call First Time Mom Chronicles. first time mom chronicles to share the challenges you know what women go through because all situations all pregnancies all journeys are completely different they can never be the same the same way they say that you can have more than two kids and it's different for both for a first time for a first time parent it's even different uh, it's so different it's beyond different in a sense that you don't know what really to expect you know you're growing a little human you don't even know every day you're creating a leg that's why we even have these apps you know they tell you that now the baby has hair and you're thinking to yourself okay if i don't get the heart band is my baby going, not going to get hair you know you hear so much but today i'm here to share with you through a friend, through more people that we'll be having on the episode. Uh, I'm expecting someone today who has had a child, not even a child actually, they are twins. She's a friend and she's going to tell me how was it for her. Actually, she's here as I'm yapping. She's already on her way. Hello. Hello. Hi, Sasha. Where are you exactly? Hey, Sarah. Are you already at Forest Resort? Exactly, yes. Yeah, please Where come to the restaurant. The restaurant side. You will see me seated in the corner. Oh, okay. Guys, corner? yes. Oh, I think I can see you. Okay. Yes. Oh, wow. Oh, what a pleasure. Thank you. You look good. Ooh, you look good. I think you're looking good too, as if you're not looking son. great on you. <laughs> thank you. You too. How are you, Sarah? You're so amazing. I'm good. Thank you. Hi, Sasha. How was the journey? Oh, of course. Tiresome. Where are you coming from? Uh, from Chiwoga. Wow. Yeah. How wow. are you? I'm okay. How is baby? Kyra is fine. <laughs> you know, it's been the sweetest journey I've ever decided to take on. The four months or plus the nine months? Uh -huh. <laughs> the, <laughs> the nine months. Yeah, not a journey I want to even go back to, but it was worth it. The four months, I mean, hmm. his four months. He's, he's actually five now. Oh. Mm. How are you? How yeah. are the babies? The twins are so amazing. Oh my God. Is it a boy and a girl? Yeah, it's a boy and a girl. What a blessing. How old are they? Nine months. Nine months. They wow. are soon turning ten. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you, you look perfectly in shape, you mm -hmm. know? I think it's good. We can say inshallah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. So how was it? The journey before, you know, motherhood kicking in, the pregnancy, everything around it. How was it? Um, now, uh, with pregnancy, basically, mm. Uh, it was not an easy one. So, uh, has I, pregnancy ever been easy for all I, of us? There are, there are people who feel pregnancy is easy on them, and you would hear them. Mm. But now, for my case, it wasn't an easy one. Mm. And I come to know that I'm carrying twins at five months. Five months. So, I'll, Sarah, you're joking. I'm not joking. Like at five months, I go to uh, to start my antenatal visits. No, you first tell me. At, Within the first month, the four months. Yeah, mm -hmm. of course, you become pregnant, and you're not you didn't go. You didn't go for antenatal. I, I didn't go for antenatal. You didn't want, or you didn't mm, know what to it's do laziness. Then. I know what to do, but maybe it is how you be like. Ah, uh -huh, I think everything is fine. Like mm. you just feel your mind, like everything is okay. You hear things kicking in your stomach, and you be like, mm, I think the baby's there growing. 
and I think the baby is okay. Mm. Mm -hmm. So at five months, I realized I was feeling okay, not really, really fine. Mm. I go to the hospital. W what no. was that not feeling fine? Was it the nausea? Uh, of the course, the nausea was too much. Yeah. Uh, and I remember one time, I think I got unconscious and I fell down. You fainted? And I fainted. I think that was around three and a half months. Yeah. Were you eating well? I was eating well, but then, you know, I think I was even coming from church. And mm. you know how you've been church? You, I, I fainted. Mm -hmm. But yeah, we go to, I go to the hospital. Mm. And of course, I, I want to do a CT scan. Mm -hmm. And reaching there, the doctor tells me, uh, Sarah. You are not long. I think you have two kids and two babies. <laughs> and I'd be like, Doctor, a little Sirak Saga. <laughs> a little Sirak Saga. Just another day. Let's do, try something else. So mm -hmm. he turns the screen and he mm -hmm. tells me, as early as this, I can see baby A is here. Of course, uh, those things are black and white. Mm -hmm. But then you would see dimensions. He says, You see, this is the sack for baby A and this is the sack for baby B. And as early as five months, I can notice that baby A is a baby boy and as the doctor is just speaking i think was speaking to himself because oh tears God. were literally rolling down but at five months could they really identify that it's exactly. a boy because me mm. at five i mm. was told it was a girl i bought all pink clothes in the world i know how you love only pink. to be told at seven months that <laughs> it's imagine? a he and i was like are you sure am i not going to change the name in the what? in the book Ah. And you know, we had these letters we would write to the baby before. I know. You know uh, in the book, the so baby you book. Had she... I had a, a girl's name. Oh now I put, boy. you know, Cairo. So I uh. put Cairo, you were meant to be a girl, but. It's <laughs> <laughs> something you read else. That as so well. for, for that one, for me, and you told me I can't see baby B because uh, the position it is lying in is not perfect mm. to see the sex. Okay, but then I was crying and he was like why are you crying please organize Happiness. yourself i'm supposed to work on other people because it is a hospital there were people in the queue. was it happiness was it what like what was it it wasn't happiness it was I, 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 up to now like i can't find a word mm. like that can put together that feeling because it was anxiety it was fear i was just thinking and imagining how two humans are growing Inside in someone's belly, belly mm. like and i was like my god are you choosing now to take me like i think now i'm going to die so just to go back a bit crying. you have twins in for in the family or your partners uh my family they are twins they are twins but it i didn't know about it was them. bound to happen and i didn't know about them but mm. then when you of course you find out now you start realizing so why are now why am i having twins uh do we have twins in my family so that is when i do research i ask my you mother I ask, uh, okay not like asking her directly but then i try to find out and i remember oh, they are they are there mm. Mm. but then because of the fear i remember mm -hmm. i was from work so i just go home and i'd be like i think this is a whole dream maybe i can lie a little did bit did you tell your partner in the beginning like did you go back and even before I, I left, uh, before I left the hospital, mm -hmm. I communicated. I told him, and then was like, <laughs> "I think you're joking." And it was, I was like, "I'm not joking." Okay, mm -hmm. I knew I, that I, I would, he would worry, and so I didn't. So I waited for him to come home. Mm -hmm. And me, I went home thinking mm -hmm. maybe let me sleep a little bit, and this whole dream will disappear. <laughs> but hey. <laughs> I it slept. was just the beginning of the day. Hey, so I, you know how you take a nap and yes. as if you're in a different world. Mm -hmm. So you'll be like, I think this thing is not true. Now you wake up and hey, the stomach is there. Uh -huh. And you're like, <laughs> the okay, results this from is the hospital are there. And you'll be like, mm -hmm, now yeah, mm -hmm. it is the reality. But did it mistreat you a lot? Like the news here, the vomiting? It did. It did. It did. Were you able to so eat or much. hold anything down? I would try. Mm. I would try because that was the advice of my doctor who told mm. me, you know, you have two humans growing. Yes. You have two heads, you have four arms, you have oh. four every that, like and that means you have to support these yes. lives. So I would try my level best even if I felt like it's not possible, would I would try to do it. And then mm. something else that uh, of course kept me and made me even more worrying I would love to share with you mm. is how so much I became friends with the internet. Mm, you would always Google everything. Oh, hey. My God. And you know, I hid, I hid my pregnancy. 
my twin pregnancy. He did. No one knew that it was apart from me, mm-hmm. maybe the doctor and mm-hmm. Salongo. Mm. Because, yeah, one thing, uh, when we talked about it with Salong, of course, for him, he had this thing from the past, like they don't share this news. But now, to me, I would believe so to any pregnancy, you don't really share it. Yeah, any but now for so me, too. I just uh, wondered if this, this news mm. mistreated me, if this news made me this, how about the people around me? So I said, now to keep their sanity, basically, mm. my mother. Uh, my siblings and everyone at, at that point are you like like married or you're in a relationship yeah, in a okay. relationship mm. so we we, 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 we I, I don't share the news so I keep my phone every every time so I wish someone got hold of my phone that time they would see the such history and they would tell mm. because everything was there but now one thing I want to also share with the mothers not every information we find on the internet is something to take on exactly Mm, what not. might work for you might not work for me and what basically i somehow think the internet is fed with information from the other world you understand mm, like, I, we I don't have more of this african information there it's mm. not there because according to what i read sasha mm. i really knew in my head i would never push my twins yeah that that i know for sure that's what i also thought that is the internet Telling you that you have to go cesarean. You have to go cesarean. And then they say the twins are not supposed to be full term. No, Sarah. <laughs> All with my excitement. I even forgot that we need to get a drink. Let's go grab a drink. Okay. And then you tell me All what right. really happened. So you were still judging. Now, apart from the treatments of the stomach and everything, mm. there is this uncomfortability. And you know how you're like in the third trimester, and as if you're breathing in someone else's mouth? Talk about <laughs> Did it. Did that happen? Talk about Did it. Did that happen? Me, every time I was lying down, I felt like I'm suffocating. And you turn, mm. so your partner would say like, "What a terrible over the cheat." I hate how this, how like our partners don't understand this thing. Like, and I always tell him, "Man, mm. I wish God can give some men the chance to carry the pregnancy and yeah, performance." They can <laughs> and just say, "Ah, oh, yeah, yeah, please let me at least die." They can't understand and, that. And guess, so for my case, it was so much suffocation, mm. and then. Uh, remember, now you would. You, there was one baby who was kicking so hard, and that was baby A. Mm. That was twin boy. So he was kicking so much hard, mm. and every time, uh, every time I would, as if be on his side, like as if he was like, uh, um, nyabo. Um, don't, don't, you don't need, lie you need to. Him. Uh, you you lie on the other side. You lie on the other side. So <laughs> pregnancy will humble you. Uh, uh, you know, I remember I had a pregnancy pillow eh? mm-hmm. and it took almost half of the bed. What? The day I gave birth, my husband went and put it out of the house. <laughs> he was like, whew, now someone can breathe. Moreover, <laughs> that your pregnancy pillow is all pink. <laughs> I'm sleeping with a pink thing in my <laughs> <laughs> and you know, some men, some men literally leave beds, like they are married to beds when their wives are pregnant. Me, mine had to deal with yeah, me. <laughs> some women are so much, like, so much uncomfortable. When you mm. listen to their stories, women are so uncomfortable. And they would be like, Saga, like, I don't even want how you... But before we even get to the doers, let's talk about how was labor for you. My. Because labor is something else. <laughs> and now for two. And now for two. Didn't it um, humble you double? It humbled me. Like, mm-hmm. uh, I just come out and be like this statement. They say that if you want to see God, go to the labor word. Now me, oh I my saw God. God's picture. You in, pushed your, your twins. I pushed them with an interval of 30 minutes. Are you serious, sir? No. Why would I, I lie to you? Why would I lie to you? No wonder you're called success. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> but let me now tell you. So, mm-hmm. I, I happened to I happen to see mm. the signs of cause. Uh, I was, the, the thing I told you about internet, how mm. you read, like lab, your, your twins are not to be, supposed to be full term. Mm. What helped me was Discuss my Discussing is too much. Because yeah. we need to sit somewhere. I see. I would love to come back here. 
Ah, let's go. Yeah, she's birthday. So, yeah. there's a point where I was thinking about, about that labor the labor. Day. Mm. But before the labor day, one thing is it's supposed to be clear for every mother. Mm. If, if you can find a doctor that you can at least be attached to, it might not be an easy thing for everyone but apart from the monetary terms and what the doctors uh, want from us but if you're friends with your doctor at least mm -hmm. there is a way because it reached when things were worse on my side mm -hmm. but my doctor told me no Sarah we said you would give back we said you would push you know talk about doctor, doctors uh, personally I changed my doctor at the last minute how ah, yes. what <laughs> for the longest time my partner was like, you need a female doctor. I think it's not and gyne. you need a female guy. Okay. So, for the longest time, I moved my journey with a female guy. But at a later stage, I was meant to move with her to another hospital where I wanted to give birth from, but she was not able to. So, at the end of her, you at the very last change. minute, mm -hmm. actually, in the very last week, but I trusted God for the process. I was like, let me go in for it and trust me, I didn't regret at all. Oh, but you. true, you need a doctor. You need a doctor, yeah, who will. Because mm -hmm. everything I read in, on the internet, see, Joy, the kids would come at 32 weeks. I would go and say, Doctor, it's it so is 32 cool. weeks, can we give birth? And we'll be like, ah, oh, but then Sarah, your kids will come at the right time. And I'd be like, now, you know what? We are going to organize for a C section because I'm not supposed to push. And he was like, calm down. You are going to push. And that is how now I see, even on the day of labor, now mm -hmm. that one. Mm -hmm. So I get signs. No, 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 with signs. Uh, that was because a break. So, nothing happened for me. What? And how did By you know that I you even went because I, I had to be checked to see whether I'll be able to push. Oh. So that very day I go for the checkup, the doctor tells me you are three centimeters in labor. Oh. Yes. So just get everything, maybe if it's in the car, get it all, you cannot go back home. My yeah. dear husband, you what I, I exactly wanted for the uh, of, of for for the giving birth. Mm -hmm. He knew I wanted a carpet, a pink carpet there for me to look at. And I was very clear by the way. Oh, <laughs> <You know that? laughs> oh my god, so he drove shocked. back home Can to get imagine? a pink carpet and a lamp because everything else was in the car. At 35 weeks, I had already put the hospital bag in the car. So he knew that carpet had to be there as I push. I used to joke about it, but he knew I was serious. I'm not going to push if I'm not seeing it. <laughs> he went and picked it anyway. And trust oh me, the process was beautiful. It, it took me five hours. How long did it take? Hi, uh, mine was, was, was uh, mine happened like 10 hours, but not the serious labor pains. Because my water broke in the morning on the second of mm. October, mm -hmm. so it was a Sunday, and I called my doctor. And my doctor says, "Okay, you go to the hospital. They check you. I'm not around, but they tell me because mm. in Kampala, mm. so they will tell me what is happening. But all in all, let me also get ready to come. Mm -hmm. So I go to the hospital, and the nurse tell me, "Ah, your two centimeters dilated. Mm -hmm. Go and pick your things and come back." How do I tell these people? Uh, I had people around, and how do I tell them? But I'm going to give birth. They'll be like, mm, let's go to church. So we go to church mm -hmm. in labor. When I'm in labor, but now the labor pains weren't. Yes, that's what I, 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 I also thank God for, because I, I I really really thought things are going to be so much, but it wasn't serious. So we come from church at at 7 p.m. in the evening. That's when I take my things to the hospital, and, and you are okay, very okay very very okay because i remember calling a friend mm -hmm. and she tells me i think you're lying and i'll be like no come on let's go to that's how i give back like the hebrew women the hebrew women and then there is this scripture so much i would read mm -hmm. i think i got it from lisa's page lisa kusima mm -hmm. and she she highlighted something it was isaiah uh, chapter 66 verses 7 to 11. now that scripture 
says like it creates strong affirmations when you're mm, pregnant. Like mm. before I know it, my son will be here. Before that strong pains I'll bear a son. Like who has ever heard of that? Mm. So throughout my pregnancy journey, from when I really took it in and I knew this was God in it, I read that scripture. So when the, I didn't get so much pain. I, I remember I actually had affirmation cards, you mm. know, my body can do this. Exactly. I can push. And I remember during that pushing time, there is a time I felt like, okay, you know what? I think I'm not going to be able to do it. Oh. Because I pushed four times. Oh. Yes. Every time I pushed, he almost came out and then something, something I stopped. Happened. I stopped pushing. Like I, I ran out of the energy. I and would stop and then my hubby would be like you know you're meant for this you can do this the time i pushed actually it's the doctor that showed me that you know what i'm actually going to now cut you mm-hmm. but he didn't say it he went aside he started organizing his things, things and, you and uh, so like, this <laughs> man is going to cut me <laughs> this baby has to come out <laughs> oh my god now for me i got to labor now and 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 now my the doctor had come mm-hmm. so he tells me let us check you and they check me, my mother comes, and my mother knows I have one baby. In that moment, in that moment, in that moment, so my mother said, Hey, doctor, why is the stomach so big? And the doctor was like, oh, We are going to see. So, like, um, baby, now, baby A was supposed to come first. That is baby that, boy. The boy. Yes. Because according to the scan and everything, he was a bit older. Uh, not in the age, but the weight was supposed to come first. But now when this time comes, mm-hmm. baby B, the small girl, makes comes her way first. out. Uh-huh. Yeah, and now let, let me ask, how many times do you get to push? For the for the first baby, yes. like it was like three times. Just because the doctor was like, sort of push, push, of course, I push, I push, and I was like, but why, why ain't we told about pushing? Like, we don't push the normal way, we push a different way. Why I, I, I think, I think because uh, with, if they train you that you're going to push like this, that's the mindset you go with in the labor room. Mm. But now, now in the labor room, labor pains come differently and at a different pace. Mm. Now you might think, ha, ah, they told me to push like this. Now, for example, there are women who say, don't take in the, don't breathe like so much in like, like you told me about the J push, the J. Mm. Okay, I want to show it now. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's there. For the mothers, they know it. They know. <laughs> so now, me, I pushed, and, yeah. and, and the doctor was like, hey, the baby's here. So I hear my mother saying, but doctor, this whole big bump, bump had just a small thing. And even there, my doctor decided not to tell my mother quiet. that there was another baby on the way. So my mother, I had the doctor say, ah, you wait, you're going to see. So you hear a baby girl crying. And then now the doctor say, Sarah, get ready. We are going for another. Now, that is the question about the, contra- uh, the contractions of baby girl and baby, baby boy. Uh-huh. Because I'm told, for the contractions of the baby girl, they come. Kumu kumu, they don't stop. Mm-hmm. The contractions for the baby boy come and they stop. give yes. Like for me, it would come and then it stops. I remember telling my husband, It's coming back, please tell it to stop. I'm not yet ready, please tell it to push. <laughs> and he was like, You know, I just do it. Oh, oh yeah, that yeah. is true. So how but did now you do for with twins, that? for twins, after uh, baby B was out, mm-hmm. uh, who was supposed to come later on, uh, my doctor says, but my doctor tells me, uh, you know what, Sarah? I think uh, this is what I did tell you, but mm. now I'm going to tell you. Uh, the normal, normal labor pains mm. are done with the baby one. Because like, even if it's a twin pregnancy, mm. the normal, normal, con- sorry, the contractions that help you push the baby mm-hmm. come with baby one. Hey. So for baby two, it's supposed to be your energy hey. and your power. And maybe this assisted medication they give you. Wait, wait. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. what you want to say is that now, baby number two does not come with contractions. Does not have like the contractions you can come because like. Because there is that contraction that comes. It's a force. Uh-huh, like a, I want force. to come out now, because uh, the water is broken. Uh, yes, they are twins, 
and they are in different sacks for this case they were in different sacks but to what i know when it, the the cervix and the path is one like this so when the baby as if this baby one makes a way hey, it's easier for the second it, one. they say it is easier for the second one but my part was hard because it was at 30 minutes interval 30 minutes of pain sasha 30 minutes of and that means even the placenta is still there 30 minutes yeah the placenta is still there because they have to hey, hey. Yeah, too. every baby had a yes. placenta. No, uh, we, 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 we bought the placentas later, the 12 them after baby B was out. But that was where now I saw God intervene. Intervene because I was like, I'm done. My daughter was like, Sarah, push. Because if, it, if you don't push, you are going to do an emergency mm. C section. And we are not yet sure if this baby is still alive. Mm. And I would hear my mother say, Please, doctor, assist her, assist her. And the doctor would be like, I would assist her if the baby was bleached. If the legs were at least down, I would at least pull. Sir, mm? this story. Banange, <laughs> that time, like, but, mm -hmm. then it was good. Banange, it was. So at the end good. of the day, you managed. At the end of that day, now I just had myself because I had given up. You see, even in the uh, for the first baby, you're pushing with still your energy. Yeah, that's like so how true. you lost all your energy you when know, I just made me when push. I gave birth. I didn't look at the baby for 15 minutes. Why? Because I was so tired, and it's like as if I astro projected out of my body. <laughs> and for a minute, I lost my life, and it came back. So I was like, eh, this is serious. Anyway. No getting you go through you that go through well. that and it was good uh, now after back. How was that? Yes, of course I, I, I got one one bit assistance. I got assistance from my sister, she came from the control and they were home, everyone was home. But first did you show the babies in children? No. I you should do oh you did. I didn't know. About the I didn't but people would thing. bring them and uh, for example uh, my mother in love would bring them but then he wouldn't show her that I'm not going to use them and I hope she doesn't see this video. Yeah. So <laughs> <laughs> she's already watching it. And then uh, what about this uh, are uh, they like friends? I don't they tie them. them. I don't tie them. I don't but you've tie heard about them. I've heard about them, but they have I, they would say that those threads uh, they were just uh, projecting the weight of the babies. Eh. Those times when there were no weight scales. Eh. So I don't really uh, I don't really my kids uh the twins I feel like they were testimony they were God given mm. so we, they were in charge I think for the fourth day on earth to be put in God's hands. So Amen. there was no Kumalaga Longo. Mm. Oh, there that was is no this thing of what 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 is it is called uh those yes. things were not there. Mm. Like they were just a uh, man. I was well good. Did, didn't you get into depression, depression after postpartum? postpartum did depression. you get the help and Ap support you needed from your partner? No. Sasha, the help can be there, but it can't be it enough. Will, or even if it is enough, it, it is can't be enough be. with you. It can never. <laughs> because every time there is a way when you're a mother or when you're a new mom, you feel, uh, you, you expect yeah, help. True. You expect maybe Sasha, my friend, will always have to call me every now and then to mm. check on me. Like mm? it's you will always feel uh, my husband has to do this. For example, now me I had things. I expected Salongo to come from work. And you have to know that twin at night uh, when the twin is crying. But yeah. Salongo was tired. Well, and it always oh, that point whereby the twins cry so much oh, and he cry. tells you. But he would and he would be like sometimes maybe he would try and you that's see him, uh, mm -hmm. sleeping off and he'd be like now if I want my baby not to fall down okay come where party don't want <laughs> so that yeah. depression happens but I want to to share with you, uh, to tell you this the depression happens because us mothers expect a lot from people around us mm. we expect people to call us now for me it's really down to me and I blacked out because I was like man nzadabalongo why aren't people checking on me so much? I know. Why aren't people over flooding my you know home? You give birth to one baby and you feel all that. No, we don't go ahead now. People don't do it, and now you'll be like, mm -hmm. now what am I going through? Sir. <laughs> you, <see? laughs> you really need to, you know, say last few words to new mothers on yes. the block. 
you know because even if you've been there before even if uh, you're a new mom this thing will always come off new at some point yeah and every so, pregnancy comes with its own yeah. things now to all new mothers out there thank mm. you so much first and foremost for sparing time for this beautiful channel please always come back here mm. now one thing yeah that disturbs us mostly is that depression after giving birth uh, mm. that one is very very hectic but how did i manage how did i told myself I am here and I trusted God for now. Process. I don't want to sound like a pastor or anyone, but mm. I just want to tell you that when you understand that God created that human in you by his own, like if you just know Sasha, that God didn't wake up one day and say, you know what, Sasha, today we are creating Cairo's legs. How would you want them to be? And in which position would you want them to be? <laughs> uh, if now you put that one in your head, that katon that yakwe zako, when he was creating that, that baby true. in mm. you, he has plans for your baby. Everything is going to go on well if you have a positive mind mm. and stop trusting people, stop expecting. You will hear a lot, my dear. Me, hey. I had everything A B C D what what, but the choice is yours. And God gave you as a mother the instinct to know what is best for your child for your babies we have that instinct so you will hear this you will hear that you do this you do that you put them in jogger or you don't do that don't shower them in the first few days, days. <laughs> Yeah, you put things. saliva, you spit on, on, ah, on their, on their the umbrico no, <laughs> and it has to get off. You put milk, you put and what? They, they say that the umbrico cord when it's off, eh? mm. you put it around your breasts. I hear make some some words. <laughs> and these things are not going to end. Anyway, guys, thank you so much yeah. for tuning in. It's Sasha Ferguson, Mrs. Mugume with Sarah Success. Thank you for Na joining longo. us today. Na Na longo. Longo. Thank you for the invite. Uh, you're welcome. Thank yeah. you for sparing the time. Mm -hmm. This is First Time Mom Chronicles. Mm -hmm.